Today I'm going to do a review on my personal sized ochre Molden. It took me a long time to actually get one of these file effectses. It is a discontinued line and I ended up getting this one on eBay from America, brand new with a box. It's the ochre colour and it's antique to leather. It smells beautiful. It does scratch easy but then again I'm really uh, rough with my file effects. I just chuck it everywhere. Um, the scratches though, I noticed if you massage them, they kind of get lighter and eventually you either don't notice them or they fade out a bit. I did also purchase an A5 Molden in the ochre. I'll just compare them for you. So that's the personal with the A5. As soon as I opened the A5, I knew I didn't like it. The leather is very different from the personal sized. It's more scaly. It kind of looks like fake leather. It still smells like leather, but it's just, it feels so new and so, so stiff compared to my personal. I feel like I don't really have a relationship with the A5 and that probably sounds silly to people, but if you love your file effects and you'd get what I mean about, you just, you either feel like you have a relationship or you don't with your file effects. Um, I carry my personal size everywhere. Like I just, sometimes I just hold it and sniff it. It's just, I really love it. Um... And I'll flick through it, but my A5 tends to just sit on my desk and I'll do a like a video on it, but you can probably tell from my voice that it's not as much a favourite as the personal size. It's also a different colour brown. Um, it says that in the description that every uh, every Molden has a different colour texture and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I think really I just need to use it and wear it in and I think... I might like it better. So this is the inside of my personal size. Um, I don't use that zippered pocket. It does fit coins in it, but I keep paper clips. I've also color coordinated my post-it notes and I wasn't going to use post-it notes because I'm not a post-it note person, but I've started using them. So I use blue for uh, shopping list, green for budget, and pinks just for notes. At the very start, I have a fly leaf, which I made myself from um projector sheets and then I keep my list set a list of things that I have to buy at the start so that I know that when I'm doing my budget I can flick back and um see what I what I can buy that week. Next I keep my wish list of stuff I'd like. Um, this is a list of food I need to make over the holidays for placement. Um, stuff I'm going to do over the holidays. And then I have another fly leaf which is the file effects one. And this is, feels much thinner than the projector sheets, I might add. Um, my projector sheet is much, much more sturdier and it doesn't scratch. And you can see in this one up the top here, it got that from the zip when I had it at the front. And my fly leaf, my projector one doesn't have that. So it's uni timetable, picture of my son. And I have kind of like a to-do thing. And then I have all the normal file effects things. I have used so far three different types of inserts in this file effects just because um, I'm trying them out so I can see what I need next year. Um, I've just got these in just so I can show you my uh, inserts. So this is one of the inserts um, that came with the file effects and it's the week on two pages unlined. I didn't like it because it didn't have lines so I found that my writing would go crooked and I just, you know, it looks a lot neater when you've got lines. Um, I colour coordinate m most things. Orange are the days I see my boyfriend. Blue is uni things. Yellow is my parents things. Green is Elliot stuff. Pink is my appointments. And purple is birthdays. And then from those inserts I went to the lined inserts. And I got these for $7 from Officeworks. And I also got um, the day to a page for seven dollars of a whole year but as you can see this week is super super messy um, and that's the reason why I went to the next inserts which I'll show you because I was just filling it up and it just looked messy so I went to the day on a page but you know Saturday and Sundays on the one page much much better there's plenty of room I do a lot of um, to-do list kind of stuff I rub stuff out and make little notes about the day. If you have a look at today, this is today and it's completely full. Yes, I write on every double line because it looks neater, um, but it's full. Like it's just, it's so much better going to um, 
the Diana page. The only criticism of this um, insert, though, is that it's not as easy to clearly see what I'm doing for the week because uh, I have to flick pages. So I added um, one of the Avery tabs and wrote next week on the top and I just move it to uh, the next week. So I can roughly, you know, if I quickly want to flip to next week, then I can do that. And then it also came with the six tabs which oh, I don't know they came with they weren't numbered they were the stock standard ones which I changed um, so I have a section for notes and that's just all this miscellaneous sort of stuff just crammed in there I've got an Elliot section which is um, medical stuff and ideas for school holidays I have a holiday section which is where I keep details about places I've been and that I'd go back to the Amy and Elliot section is YouTube the health section, um, I'm currently trying to get healthy, so that's for that. And then I keep the address section at the back. But I didn't use the A to Z tabs because it just took up room and added more weight that I could just do without. Each section is a different colour. Um, I don't know if I like this. I think I prefer the um, white note paper, but... Uh, the white note paper for this one I gave to my mum to use in her Cuban. Then at the back I've just got some papers. This one comes with two pockets. It's got this really big one, which is really tight. Like, I think it's a bit too close to the rings for my liking, to be honest, because, yeah, it's just... And I kind of lose things in that pocket. Like, it's just tucked away at the back and I lose them. This pocket is for a notepad, but I keep stamps in there. I do want to get a notepad though, because sometimes I just want to write something quickly down and I don't want to flick through a section and find where it will go. This is a mechanical pencil. I think it's big. And then the pen is from Smiggle, and I kind of borrowed that and never returned it to a friend. Um, so yeah, I think this part at the back, will, it kind of just holds my bills and stuff for the moment. But I'll kind of do like a comparison video with my A5 because I have noticed a lot of faults about the A5 that just are not the same in the personal. Um, but yeah, so overall I really, really love this Molden. But I would love to get a purple personal size. My boyfriend will probably kill me um, if I did that. But maybe I'll just buy it <laughs> and not tell him. Uh, if there's anything specific you want me to point out, um, or look at with the A5 molding that I haven't covered here, uh, let me know and I'll upload the A5 comparison shortly. Mm -hmm.